Thank you. I request Madam Purandesh Garu to give his welcome speech. A truly auspicious day today. And I take this opportunity to thank and welcome Madam President, Srimati Draupadi Murmuji, for having graciously accepted to release the commemorative coin of my late father, Sri N.T. Ramarao Garu. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the National President of Bharti Janta Party, Sri Jagat Prakash Naddaji, who has graced this occasion and has been a source of strength for me all through my journey in Bharti Janta Party. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank each one of my family who's been here, whose presence has actually made this occasion a very memorable one, a one that cannot be forgotten in life. I also should be thanking God on this occasion for having given me an opportunity not once but twice to pay my respects to my late father, Sri Nandamuri Tarak Ramaragaru. He lives in our hearts, but yet there was one occasion when we were able to install his statue in the parliament, which was a momentous moment for me. And again, today, when we are having the commemorative coin on his name released on his centenary year. I think this has been God sent opportunity to me and a blessing from my father as well. Today we have gathered here today to pay our respects to the life and legacy of late Sri Enti Ramaraugaru on his centenary year. His contribution to the field of art has been commendable and so has been his impact on the landscape of Andhra Pradesh politics as well. To put it in another way, he not only impacted the political scenario in Andhra Pradesh, but has also impacted the political scenario in the entire country as well. And I very humbly would like to place this statement before the August audience seated here. His contribution to the field of entertainment, as I had mentioned earlier, is, lives in the hearts of the people through his charisma and through his dedication as well. And he actually breathed life very effortlessly into very diverse characters, just as he is revered as Lord Rama, Lord Krishna, or Lord Shiva even to this day, he is also loved as Duryodhana and Ravana as well. And this could only be done by none other than late Sri Enti Ramarao Garu. After his foray into politics, it also brought forward another angle or another aspect which clearly emphasized how entertainment can actually impact society. And we cannot refrain from saying that it was his foray into entertainment, the field of entertainment, that had actually seen him breeze into the, uh, uh, the status of the Chief Minister of Andhra Pradesh as well. And after he forayed into political life, or rather public life, he proved that politics, or rather power, is simply not for power, but is also a medium of service to people. The manner in which he empowered the marginalized sections of society, more particularly the women, wherein he ushered in reservations for women, and beyond that he also gave equal, properties, uh, equal right to, rights and properties for women as well. Needless to say, setting up the first Mahila Vishwa Vidyalaya in Tirupati too. The support he gave the backward classes and the manner in which he stood up for the scheduled classes. And also his strong belief 
that unless he empowered the marginalized sections, cannot we take our state and our country forward. So though he started a political outfit, a regional political outfit, I must and I cannot refrain from saying that he was nationalistic in his outlook as well. And today, on his centenary year, the manner in which tributes are pouring in through the social media, I mean, setting up his statues or even releasing the commemorative coin today, only speaks of the fact that he is not a hero of individuals, but he is a hero for generations to come as well. And therefore, today is truly an emotional moment for me, an emotional day for me, wherein it has been made a dream come true, wherein we are releasing the commemorative coin of late Sri N.T. Ramarao Garu. Again, I would like to take this opportunity to say that with Madam President, Srimati Draupadi Murmuji, coming from humble backgrounds, rising to the highest status in the country, through her hard work and her commitment, is very befitting that she releases the coin of one such man who again comes from humble backgrounds and who has grown to the highest uh, uh, position uh, in the state of Andhra Pradesh through his commitment, his dedication, and his grit. Thank you all. Thank you, Madam Burundesh Vigaru. I would request the eldest son of Sri Ramaragaru and daughter, Sri Mohan Krishnagaru and Sri Lokeshwagaru, to felicitate the Honorable President with a bouquet. I would request Purandeshwagaru also to present the portrait of the Honorable President and a memento of the NTR, the Honorable President. Moment also. A moment also, please. Thank you, ma'am. Now it's time for what we are all waiting for, the release of the commemorative coin of Sri Sunti Ramaragaru by the Honorable President of India. I request all of you to please stand up so that when the coin is released, we show our respect to the great individuals here. Can we have the other coins also? For the group photograph, other coins as well. Thank you very much, ma'am. Another moment we are waiting for. We would request the Honorable President of India to address the gathering. And she's also the youngest president ever born in India, after independent India. And we would like, yeah. And there are, just before we call the address to the president, there are two more mementos. One, we would request Nivedita to hand over a memento. To see Nara Chandrabhav Nadigaru and Sri Hitesh to please hand over a moment to, to see J.P. Nadda Jigar. Thank you very much. You request the President of India to address the gathering.
आज के इस महत्वपूर्ण समावेश में मंच पर उपस्थित श्री मोहन कृष्णा जी श्रीमती जी लोकेश्वरी जी श्री बालाकृष्ण जी श्रीमती डॉक्टर डी पुरेन्द्रेश्वरी जी श्री रामाकृष्ण जी श्रीमती एन भुवनेश्वरी जी इस सभागार में उपस्थित श्री जेपी नड्डा जी श्री एन चंद्रबाबू नायडू जी और अन्य गणमान्य अतिथियों देवियों और स्वजनों स्वर्गीय श्री नंदमुरी तारक रामा राव जी को लोक स्नेह और सम्मान के साथ एन के नाम से याद करते इसकी इनकी जन्म शताब्दी के उपलक्ष में आयोजित इस कार्यक्रम में उनकी स्मृति को मैं सत सत नमन करती स्वर्गीय श्री एन टी रामा राव जी की स्मृति में उनकी आकृति से युक्त सिक्का प्रस्तुत करने के लिए मैं भारत सरकार के वित्त मंत्रालय की सराहना करती डॉक्टर पुरेंद्र श्री जी ने इस स्मृति समारोह से जुड़ी पूरी प्रक्रिया को निष्ठा के साथ आगे बढ़ाया है मैं उनकी विशेष सराहना करती हूँ स्वर्गीय रामाराव जी की पुत्री के रूप में डॉक्टर पुरेंद्र श्री जी एक असाधारण विश्वास विरासत की उत्तराधिकारी है देवियों और स्वजनों स्वर्गीय श्री एन टी रामाराव जी ने तेलुगु फिल्म के जरिए भारत सिनेमा और संस्कृति को समृद्ध बनाया है उन्होंने रामायण और महाभारत के प्रमुख पात्र को अपने अभिनय से जीवंत रूप प्रदान किया है उनके द्वारा अभिनीत प्रभु श्री राम श्री भगवान श्री कृष्ण के चरित्र इतनी सजीव बन पड़ी थी कि लोग रामा राव जी को पूजने लगे थे तिरुपति में भगवान श्री वेंकटेश्वर बालाजी का दर्शन करने के बाद बहुत से लोग चेन्नई जो तो मंदराज कहलाता था जाकर श्री एन टी रामा जी रामा जी जी को दर्शन करते थे ऐसा इसलिए था कि एन टी आर ने भगवान श्री वेंकटेश्वर बालाजी का संजीव अभिनय अपनी फिल्म में किया था स्वर्गीय श्री रामाराव जी अपने भवन की बालकोनी से उनका अभिवादन स्वीकार करते थे उनके उनसे जुड़े ऐसे बहुत से अनूठे उदाहरण सुनने को मिलता है उनके बारे में एक अत्यंत रोचक संस्मरण मुझे बताया गया है नाइनटीन सेवेंटीज में एक महिला अपने गांव से अपने बेटे के पास मंदराज आई थी और अपनी ग्रैंड डॉटर के साथ रिक्शे पर कहीं जा रही थी रास्ते में एक जगह उन्हें भारी भीड़ दिखाई दी उनकी 10-12 साल की ग्रैंड डाटर से से पूछा ये क्या हो रहा है ग्रैंड डाटर ने उनको बोले बताया कि वे लोग एन के मकान के बाहर उनकी एक झलक पाने के लिए खड़े रहे थे दादी माँ ने रिक्शा रोका रिक्शे से उतरकर दादी माँ ने वहाँ की धरती को प्रणाम किया और फिर आगे बढ़े ये अनूठा जीत केवल एन के व्यक्तित्व उनकी स्मृति को दर्शाता है वो कैसे महान है वो कैसे जीवंत फिल्म लोगों के द्वारा लोगों के सामने प्रस्तुत किए और पूरा देश विदेश के लोग उनको पूजने लगे मुझे बताया गया है कि एक फिल्म में उन्होंने भगवान श्री कृष्ण दुर्योधन और कर्ण तीनों भूमिकाओं से अद्भुत अभिनय की है उन्होंने सामान्य लोगों के दुख दर्द को भी अपने अभिनय से अभिव्यक्त किया था अपनी एक फिल्म मोनुसुलू अन्ना बोकट्टे यानी सभी मनुष्य एक समान है के द्वारा उन्होंने सामाजिक न्याय और समानता का संदेश प्रसारित किया था ये आदर्श सभी देशवासियों के लिए सदैव प्रासंगनीय है प्रासंगिक है एक अभिनेता के रूप में उनकी लोकप्रियता 
एक जनसेवक और नेता के रूप में भी उतनी ही व्यापक बनी रही उन्होंने अपने असाधारण व्यक्तित्व और कर्मठता के बल पर भारतीय राजनीति के एक अनोखा अभ्याय एक अध्याय और शुरू किए थे उन्होंने जन कल्याण के अनेक कार्यक्रम चलाए जिन्हें आज भी याद किया जाता है इस समारोह के आयोजन के लिए एक बार फिर मैं वित्त मंत्रालय की टीम को तथा तो डॉक्टर पुरेंद्र सर जी को सराहना करती हूँ स्वर्गीय श्री एन टी रामाराव जी के विलक्षण व्यक्तित्व की स्मृतियाँ देशवासियों विशेषकर तेलुगु भाषावासियों के हृदय में सदैव अंकित रहेंगी इस विश्वास के साथ मैं अपनी वाणी को विराम देती हूँ सभी को बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत Thank you very much, Madam. We are indeed honoured by your kind words. I request all of you to rise for the roll of the drum and national anthem. <laughs> 